गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन आवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इन क्लासिकल मैकेनिक सीरीज इज कंजर्वेशन थ्योरम फोर एंगुलर मोमेंटम ऑफ ए पार्टिकल इट्स एंगुलर डियर स्टूडेंट द आवर फर्स्ट टॉपिक वॉज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ ए पार्टिकल एंड दिस टॉपिक इज ऑल्सो कवर अंडर दैट टॉपिक मैकेनिक्स ऑफ ए पार्टिकल डियर स्टूडेंट कंसिडर पार्टिकल ऑफ मास एम विच इज मूविंग आर्बिट्रेरली इन स्पेस विद समी वी स्टूडेंट से इट इज ए पार्टिकल ऑफ मास एम एंड इट इज मूविंग विद समी वी then its linear momentum will be p equals mv the direction of momentum and velocity is same so we can say this is the direction for p dear student as the particle is moving in two dimensional space here we can say it's a two dimensional euclidean space and we can generalize it to it into th three dimensional space then we select a point o which is our origin of this right handed coordinate system and student the position vector of particle which is moving with the momentum p is say r it is not necessary that we have to select o here you can select your own coordinate system dear student this is the position vector r as the particle is moving so we can say this r is a function of time then angular momentum is a quantity which is defined for this particle in this way angular momentum is lower case l is the cross product of position vector of this particle and the linear momentum this is lower case l you might have also encountered with angular momentum with upper case l that is for a system of particle which is the topic which is we are going to discuss after as we have uh, as we are going to finish this mechanics of a particle then we will go to the mechanics of a system of particle student l is r cross p r is the position vector p is the linear momentum r is the position vector from point o we must have to mention this that this l is about this point o because if this o is different if i have taken o at this point then our l will be different so i have to mention this point here about o and dear student we can also define one more dynamical variable for this particle that is torque torque is the moment of force it is the cross product of the position vector about this point o and the force which is acting on the particle dear student l is also known as moment of linear momentum and tau is also known as moment of force again we have to write it about this about o <clears throat> dear student let's differentiate this expression with respect to time one most most important point which we have to mention here is the order of cross product is important we cannot say it's p cross r it is r cross p because the cross product of two vector is always anti commutative now student differentiating this expression with respect to time i'll get dl by dt that is the rate of change of angular momentum is dy dt of r cross p now we have to apply the product rule of differentiation with preserving the order of r and p dear student i will say the first function r as it is cross the differentiation of p with respect to time plus differentiation of the first function and the cross product in the second function 
dear student it comes out to be r cross the force rate of change of linear momentum is force plus this is my velocity rate of change of displacement is velocity cross the linear momentum dear student my left hand side is dl by dt rate of change of angular momentum is r cross f plus v cross mv the first line which i have written v cross v they are in the same direction so i'll get zero because the cross product of two parallel vector or two identical vector is zero then i'll get dl by dt is r cross f plus zero r cross f is my torque dear students this we can say the rotational analog of our newton's second law our newton's second law was f is equal to dp by dt this equation is equivalent to this equation the only difference is that here linear motion is involved and here rotational motion is involved so to change the linear state linear state means to change the linear momentum if you want to uh, decrease linear momentum or increase linear momentum or to change the direction want to change the direction of linear momentum you need a force in a same way if you want to change the rotational state of the object rotational state means you want to increase the angular momentum or you want to decrease the angular momentum or you want to change the direction of angular momentum you need a torque <coughs> Let me give a bit of example. Mm, yeah. Say, this is our scale, and dear student, if I would like to change this, the state of this scale means linear state. I want to, I want to move it with some velocity v. It means I am applying some force over this. To change the linear momentum, you need a force. and dear student if i have a ball and dear student its angular momentum is zero if i am rotating on its axis i need a torque although this is not uh, the example of a ball this is a point and this is not a point ha huh. yeah, yes we can say if i am rotating it like this this is a circular motion this ball i can consider that this is a point object and it is rotating in this way now i can say i am applying some torque over this i cannot say it's uh, the only force it is force is also there but uh, in correct term we can say we have to apply some torque over this to change the angular state of this <coughs> point object now student again if tau equals 0 then we can say dl by dt equals 0 or l is constant if there is no any torque on the particle or the sum of various torques acting on the particle the vector sum of all the torques acting on the particle is zero then its angular momentum is going to be constant again this is, there is some there is an arrow over this symbol it means its magnitude as well as the direction is not going to change so this was our law of conservation of angular momentum for a particle dear student you may take the screenshot and thanks for watching the video